When the movie starts we see a pregnant lady named Natalia and she is experiencing labor pains. Natalia's mother, Alina, was also present at that time and she was apprehensive about Natalia's condition. Her mother immediately shifts her to the hospital. Most of the doctors were not present as they were late to the hospital. But in the hospital, we see a nurse who treats and delivers Natalia's baby. But when they saw the baby, they were surprised and concerned because they could not believe what they were seeing when the baby started to fly in the air. Natalia is also left astonished. She says to her mother that an angel child has been born in their house. As Natalia's mother was wise and experienced she understands that the baby is not normal and it is true because that baby has born without gravity. They leave the hospital and reach their home against the advice of the nurse because they were vulnerable in the hospital. After reaching home Alina asks Natalia, who is the father of this child? But Natalia was unable to recall the child's guardian. Then her mother warns her that this child is not a normal one, so we have to keep it a secret. And we could face a lot of difficulties if someone knows about it. Then they choose the child's name as Oscar. In reality, he was a rare kid and it was very difficult to raise that kid. He used to stick with the ceiling when they left him alone. His grandmother used to tie many straps to him so that he could not fly. They also make the ceiling soft and feathery so that the child remains unharmed. They had feared that if he was left alone outside, he could fly in the air. As a result, they were very careful about Oscar. His mother and grandmother cared much about him. Oscar starts to grow over time. But he always remained in the house. His grandmother does not allow him to go outside. He used to watch cartoons of Superman sitting at home. He also used to imagine himself as a superhero. Then Oscar asked his mother many times why he was not allowed outside. But they always ignore him. Oscar used to watch the people through the window including the kids like him who were going to school. He used to look at the playing kids with wishful eyes, longing for an independent life. He always thought that he would be imprisoned forever. Then one day, Oscar tries to escape through the window, irritated by the confinement inside the house. But his grandmother gets furious when she sees him do that. Observing his intentions, grandmother seals all the windows. She insists that he should never go outside the house like other school-going kids and he must complete his whole study inside his home. After hearing these words Natalia becomes angry. And she says, how much time will we keep him imprisoned? He has to go outside at one or another time. Then Oscar's mother brings a jacket for him and inserts two stones in its pockets so that he avoids flying. She takes Oscar outside ignoring her mother's advice. Moreover, she warns him that he should not tell the secret to anyone like Superman, otherwise he will not become Superman. Once Oscar goes with his mother to purchase some goods and collides with a girl named Agatha. All the goods fall from Agatha's hands and she shouts at him. She hands him two water bottles and orders him to carry them to her house as a punishment. Initially, Oscar refuses to carry them, but later he agrees to carry upon the insistence of Agatha and he follows her without informing his mother. Now two heavy bottles are in his hands and two heavy stones are also present in his pockets. As a result, he was feeling uneasy carrying them. So he drops the two stones from his pocket. His friendship starts to develop with Agatha. After reaching the home, Agatha asks for the water bottles. But Oscar refuses to give the water bottles. Because he was aware that if he returns the bottles he would fly in the air. As Agatha was childish, she snatches the water bottles from Oscar as a result he starts to fly in the air. Fortunately, that place was covered with some temporary roof arresting his accent towards the sky. Agatha calls him Superman after seeing him fly in the air. He asks for help from her. Agatha immediately goes into her house to fetch a bag filled with stones and she gives it to Oscar. Their plan becomes successful and Oscar descends from there. Then they become best friends. Then Oscar says to Agatha, promise me that you keep this incident a secret. On the other side, Natalia and Alina were worried because of Oscar's disappearance. They search for him everywhere and assume that he has flown into the air. His mother discovers the stones on the ground which she has put in his pocket. 
Then Oscar returns to the house with the bag given by Agatha and tells about Agatha to his mother. Then his mother inquires, have you told her the secret? But he tells a lie saying that he did not tell. Then Oscar and Agatha continue to meet with each other for many days. Then one day Oscar's mother comes to know that Agatha is aware of the secret. His mother forbids him from meeting Agatha from that day. Agatha used to come to Oscar's house but she is returned back at the doorstep itself by Natalia. They become suspicious among the people living in their surroundings. Because they were feeling that Oscar's mother and grandmother were mistreating him by not allowing him outside and by not sending him to the school. They report this issue to the cops. The next day cops arrive at their house and warn them to send Oscar to the school. As a result, they had to send Oscar to school under pressure. Then Oscar's mother goes to school with him. They were sure that Oscar cannot lead a normal life. Their eyes were filled with tears when they bring Oscar from school. Her mother understands everything and decides to leave the house. Then they begin to live in a secluded place far from the city. Many years later we see Oscar grow as a young person. His mother also becomes old, while his grandmother passes away. Oscar still has the bag given by Agatha. He never separates that bag from him. He even used to sleep keeping the bag with him. His way of living was still the same even today, just spending his life at home. His life is being spent in secrecy. Oscar and his mother used to care for each other. Oscar was bored with his life. He was under frustration hiding the secret. Then he assumes that in a short time, he will be famous throughout the world like his idol Superman if the whole world knows about him. He thinks that he would become an inspiration for many people to write books on him. But his mother negates his desire and explains that it will never happen like that. She thinks, if the world knows this secret, she may lose him. For the sake of his mother, he displays some patience. But one day, he moves out of his house without telling his mother. Then he visits a magic show to display his talent for the first time, it is a program where the people exhibit their talents. This show gets viewed by a maximum number of people and his mother also views that show. Oscar's mother was helpless on that matter. Many people had seen him on TV, making him very famous overnight. On the next day, he meets a man named David. He is in fact a content agent. He guarantees Oscar that he could support him in becoming very well known. He can arrange crowd puller shows that can make him famous. He gives him a big house for his residence after taking the signature on the contract agreement. Oscar also desired to become famous. After going into a big show, he displays his performance and becomes a celebrity overnight. Later he is called the man without gravity. Those two enjoyed their work and also earned a lot of money. But one day Oscar feels that his childhood dream to become a superhero is impossible to achieve as the superhero is in fact just a cartoon character. Sometimes he was called for photo shoots and sometimes for magic shows. He starts to dislike that work with the passage of time. Many books were written about him and some documentaries were also made, showing a bad image of his mother and grandmother. It makes Oscar feel bad. Then it was his last show where he has to wear a costume of an angel, which he hates. He says, I am not an angel. He starts to behave rudely to the people in the show as he was angry. Then he says to his mother that he has decided to leave all these things. He tells his agent, enough. I don't want to be famous and my contract time also completed. I will not work anymore. His agent explains you cannot leave it as such. But Oscar gets irritated by all these things. He asks him to tell the people that, the man without gravity has passed away or flown into the air. He says goodbye to his mother because he wants to live a separate life. On the next day in the news, it is revealed the man without gravity had died. Many people talk differently about him. Oscar's mother starts living alone. And many journalists continue their visits to their house to get information about Oscar but she never tells anything to them. After many years, Oscar's mother also dies. But Oscar was still alive. He was leading his life in a different way. He had a long beard and used to sit in a wheelchair in order to hide his secret from the world. He has changed his identity by doing a job in a hotel as a receptionist. He was treated nicely by everyone. One day, 
his childhood friend Agatha meets him. She recognizes him because of the pink bag which was still with Oscar even to that day, which she had given him in childhood. Due to that bag, he remained on the ground and he is still unmarried. They feel very happy after meeting with each other. But Agatha was unsatisfied with her life. Because her purpose was only to earn money and she had no morals. She used to visit that hotel with many lads where Oscar was on a job. Oscar feels very bad seeing her do that. Oscar many times shares his feelings with Agatha. She has changed very much, so she ignores his feelings. Here we can notice that Oscar still had feelings for her.